straight away, I mean, you've got back a high field here. The whole of this back part here was porter cabins. Uh, they're not there now, I think they got fired. Looking on Facebook, someone said they were burnt down. Probably arson. Probably someone didn't do their homework. Um, and there was a chemistry block down the back. As you come up that building there. Um, that's gone as well. Mr. I think Mr. Condliffe. It's chemistry, my chemistry teacher. Um, he, he, he put us under the clock a couple of times for burning other people's coats in front of us with the Bunsen burners. <laughs> I'm messing around with magnesium strips and taking them, oh, taking them to pieces. But no, seriously, it's it's a it's a it's a poignant moment, sad, but you know, memories, and we just try and capture what we can and uh, put it out there, and see what people think. Come on. The headmaster's had enough today. All the kids have gone away, gone to fight the next to school. Every turn that is the rule. Sits alone and vents his pain. Same old backsides again. We're in the um, high field block, all right? This is the old canteen room area. We used to queue up corridor down here. We used to come in and just queue up that end. Canteen there, um, big hall in here, but they've turned it into a sound room now. Like a media center, so you can't see nothing. Black. But we used to have a stage up there, we used to have, you know, your assembly and stuff like that. Um, down here we'd have your seating area for your dinner. Uh, toilet should be on the left here. These are the old toilets. There's a nice aroma in here, so there is actually, yeah. But everyone used to spit on the ceilings of here, dirty cats. This would be your queuing area here for all your lessons down and up. History was in there for us. Everyone's going to be familiar with this. This stuff here. Is they called Pongo Brick? Nice, can you smell that? Oh, it stinks of eggs, doesn't oh, it's it? Eggy, yeah. Yeah, well, people used to break it off, just smash it on the floor, and it just, just like a stink bomb, really. But the Pongo Brick. Lots of girls and lots of boys, lots of smells and lots of noise, playing football in the park. These are the old uh, blackboards, or oh, chalkboard. What we used to do when we knew the teacher was coming in for the lesson, we draw a big cocks or whatever on here and roll it round, <laughs> leave it like that. So when the teacher come in and they wanted to draw something on the board and pull it off, everyone used to be in pleats laughing. That was funny. That. So we're in Highfield still. We're down the corridor towards the Gabba Labs. The Gabba Labs were like a language section. You'd all sat at booze with headphones on and you'd repeat back like um, Claudette, Jean Paul and you're like a story. Aquitaine or repite. Something like that. Uh, and the teacher would listen in and see if you were like pronouncing it right or that but uh, we couldn't do language at all so it was just uh, you make stuff up or whatever but she'd get you and you'd be under the clock, you'd be gone, you'd be out, you'd be on your ear without howl laughing. So this was, this was all banked out. Um, this was like the French departments and this one as well, H2. Paul Hunter, Steve Brown, Philly Green, Nicky Bell, Timmy Cubbon, we all had a laugh. It was a tough, toughy school, you know, you had to have your wits about you. Um, especially me having a girl's name, so to speak, you know, I had to toughen up a bit. But I'm here to sell a tale. But it's sad to see, you know, it's a bit of history going slowly but surely. Walk down from there. The majority of people will come in this way. Some come off the cinder path up top end. Um, this used to be a car park, teacher's park. I used to park my motorbike here at one point when I was uh, old enough to ride one. Not many had a 
motorbike, but you used to get the odd uh, conker and that chucked at me. <laughs> Uh, there was a bungalow here where the caretaker used to live. Gone now. This is the tech block, food tech block, cooking and all that kind of stuff. But when I was here, it was uh, maths, maths mainly. Um, stinks of damp, so obviously it's had a good flooding. So how does it make you feel coming back here after all this time? Uh, nostalgia really, I like it. Um, been back twice now, so yeah, uh, I, I know when it's gone, it's gone. Um, yeah, some of the, we were having a laugh on Facebook, joined the group, uh, putting some pictures on there, seeing some old teachers and that, you know, some of the funny things people are saying about their experiences as well. The favourite food they had at the canteen, who was the favourite teacher, who was the one I could give a proper bollocking, you know. Um, and some of it were really inspirational, you know, some really sort of brought it out. So yeah, um, Mr. Hersey was art, that was my forte, I liked art. Um, maths, no, I'm good at maths, although I can add up now when I'm charging customers. Okay. So it's alright, I've worked a little bit I suppose. I'm getting memories coming back to me now. Um, this is some kind of lab. Not sure if it was uh, physics, I don't know, physics or chemistry or something. But that, but we used to come out of there because we finished woodwork uh, or metalwork, which was which was in here. You couldn't come up here because the teachers used to drive in, park round the back here. But we used to climb over the fence because this is this is Pleasanton School, the back. Well, it was. Peasants and schools, not in that And you'd be up and over, and you'd be either fighting or you'd be cutting through because you didn't have to walk all the way around to get to Dacre Hill, get the bus early. But the teachers would get you, so you couldn't do it really. So that was fun. But yeah, back of the metal workshop. Many a time, I think people were just used to smoking there. That was the, uh, the whole challenge of getting caught. The excitement. So, teachers used to park at the back here. And that was their entrance, you weren't allowed in. Mr. Brame, the English teacher, came on a, used to come on a bicycle. And uh, I think in the end, he had to put it put his bike somewhere safe because it was just getting vandalised. He was a good card. Good old brainy. He was a hippie like. Up here is the, uh, is the gym. That was the teacher's office. Good attendance. Whole school drill. Whole school due to fault. Engineer called malicious student neglect. <laughs> Break, break glass replaced, so obviously someone's had a good uh, a good laugh, haven't they? Well, it's not a good laugh, it's been done maliciously. Another malicious pupil. Um, caretaker replaced. Power surge. Malicious pupil. Malicious pupil. You used to have the ropes hanging down from the ceiling here. I could never touch the ceiling. Sure, sure, sure. But yeah. It's quite a decent uh, floor in here, but probably end up in Merino Lounge. Right. Yeah, that's the this is the back of the stage. We, we used to go up in the loft when you were bunking off. And then you'd have assembly on here and the teachers and... Elmer was on here, Mr. Elmer. He was one of the head teachers. Um, so yeah, that was... And then this became a dinner hall as well, because the, the dinner room's through there. So, you know. 
But yeah, you still get up in the loft. This was the um, the old kitchen, the canteen. So this was the storeroom as well. So we probably, you can see, um, storeroom there, and then obviously you have the ladies and gents for the staff. So that, that pieces together now. We used to queue up here. So this was a queue for the dinner hall, and I'm sure that was a hatch in that wall where they serve the dinner through. And then it eat in the, the hall. And we go in we go in the main hall and eat. So that's been blocked up at some point. Because we used to get our tokens here. Council tokens for free food. But you could sell them for 50p on the black market on the quad. Um, and then with your money you go to the Baker Hill and get ciggies and magic fruits and then come back and sell them and double your money. This is the this used to have, this is the rain hall, the reception area. This was called um, obviously the entrance. They used to have a clock here. Whenever you were in the water, you used to get sent under the clock, and you'd have to. That, this wasn't here. This reception. There was a table there. And I think there was a war memorial on the wall, which isn't there no more. And you'd have to stand there. Headmaster's room is there, and you got deputy there. Whenever they come out, they saw you here, want to know what's going on, probably send you for the good slapping in there. So I had the, uh, had the slap a few times. This is the head of years. This was like the headmaster or headmistress rooms, but I, th I think at some point they've been turned into classrooms. But yeah, you used to walk out, like, come boy, what do you want to? It's uh, called smoking miss. Uh, get in there, see Fielding. So we'd have to go and see Mr. Fielding. Probably cut that as well. Uh, this was reception. This was, uh, yeah. You used to come in here when you were late, you get an exit out if you needed to go out. This was the staff room. As I knew it. It was not, a, it wasn't a cup room, so to speak, but all the ceiling tiles have come in, that's why it's all soggy. But it must have turned into something else. Ugh. Yeah. Like an art room thing, printing room. This was um, technical drawing. This was Mr. Wallace's office at the time. Um, CDT, Craft Design Technology 2. Um, and then there was another guy that came and also joined the team. His name was Tim. I don't remember his second name, but he was a cracking guy. So between the two of them, they developed this, this department. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Used to be messing around because the teachers would be coming out of the classroom and they'd go, You boy! And you stand still like that because you have. Or you'd end up having going down there, standing outside the, and, um, the staff room because you came to school in white socks. Because white socks were in, everyone wore white socks, but if you got caught, you got lined up. Then you go on reports. This was another round. Um, design technology. I think it's turned into a pottery room which all moved over from Stoneley, which is the last block we'll see, and dumped in here. But uh, this was just a drawing room. We had an exam once. Me and uh, Mark Dewhurst, who was sadly not with us anymore. Um, but we hadn't we hadn't studied for it so to speak, so when the end of the day was finished we came in and we moved the tools around for the next morning so no one knew where they were, so we didn't have to take it. <laughs> you just gotta do it. Yeah. So then, thank you, yeah, still, this is, we joined you up, this was the woodwork room. 
quite a woodwork. I found a tree I made at home, so um, I'll show you that. Um, and did it in here. In fact, probably it doesn't work. Parquet flooring. So this was all bench like that. And I made the tree here. Yeah. All the filing on it and rubbing away. Didn't get me a job like. Rolling rat. <laughs> this used to be the toilet block in here. Here it was. Um, even poo in lines on the floor. Just see what different colours they were. Honestly, I tell you. <laughs> uh, upstairs. And then you can go out that way into your food tech block. Still the same upstairs. So we go queue up here. At break time, used to come up, and you'd have uh, Mr. Hersey had run sort of life sessions, um, life coach, kind of inspirational guy. So yeah, many a time had a few. Uh, Good chats and in debates. I think that's where we vent as a bit of our frustration off in here, you know. Mm. This is this is what happened when you used to get locked in a room and you'd leave them there for break. And you you couldn't get out. You'd put them on the door to open someone would see. Got there's an English teacher once. And uh, we were in the porter cabins and he actually got locked in the cupboard, the book cupboard. But the bell went for break. Because we'd locked it, we all ran outside and on the quad. He's got a little tiny window at the top. <coughs> and he was shouting and we were just all like trying to put all the teachers off and that. Kept him in there for the whole break. Mr. Brain, lovely guy. Science. This has changed, this was all benched out, didn't have these. This was just all physics and biology. What's in here? Oh yeah. We're allowed in here for obvious reasons. This was all new, this is all new. This is after the fire. This was all built, this wing on top of the roof. So I think after the fire, they had all this annex up here was all built on. Uh, that's uh, Ravenswood block, mainly all six formers. I hid in there once. Um, behind some bookcase and there was a secret door. No one knew about it. They were hunting high and low for me. I was up there. But uh, in the main, we'd never really studied in there. I'd left school by then. But, yeah, it was a bit of a truant. We're down by Stonely now. That's a Stonely block. 
This is the quad, the little quad. Just climb up on the roof. Up and over, get the tennis balls. But the sixth formers would make you get up. Because you went in the fifth formers, you weren't allowed up, otherwise you'd be under the clock. So you, you were forced up. Uh, hoping you didn't get caught, so to speak. But yeah. I don't know if you ever remember Colin as well, we, uh, Chris, Sponster Munch, uh, Watsits and all that. Um, and you used to get them and you'd shrink them down, yeah, to a, like a key ring size. Well, I, I'm not sure, there used to be a fireplace along here, like a like an outlet for a gas fire. You used to get hot, you used to stick them on the top of there, sell them for 10p. <laughs> Off as well. Down the back. Oh look. More pongo brick. That'll smell now. Used to get home through there. You go in the woods. You have a little den in the woods. But yeah. This was the old, uh, I don't know if we're allowed in here or not, but... So when I was here, this was the pottery room you saw in the main block. Um, I'm not sure the teacher's name, I'm sure it was Mr Adams or what. Um, so yeah. This was art block, so... This is my favourite haunts because I loved art. We used to wait. We used to wait round here for you to go in your lesson. Mr. Hersey's office up here, I keep mentioning him a few times, but uh, he taught me how to pen and ink in here. Um, yeah. He was a he was a, he was alright. But we used to, because body popping and break dancing was in there, so you used to wait for your lesson to go in and you'd be getting as many back spins in as you could, you know. And, uh, people will probably remember Wazza, he used to do head spins, but he had, his head was quite flat, so he could, he could stay up and you were like, how'd you do that? Um, but yeah, we had a few back spinning sessions here. That's a uh, high field playing ground. Sport all, uh, get out in the field, play rugby, and there's the cinder path. It takes you right down to the oval, uh, and then there's a plateau field over there. This used to be sports block, sport hall. Basketball, just a lawyer, cricket practice, um, badminton. I mean, it wasn't the right layout. This was th these. We we relined this many years ago, 2000, year 2000. My uh, company relined, scrubbed it all off, and repainted it all. Um, but they are not actually to spec to the standard. But y you got the idea, you know. Amongst other things. We used to get the private, we used to have a bus laid on because no one could get home because the amount of people that were coming out of Pleasanton at the Oval. Um, and our school, there's just no buses. The buses just squeeze everyone on and you, so no one really was, got home, there was lots of complaints. So they had put a private bus on for us as a test. It was a Crossville bus coming from the old Crossville bus depot, which is now a Reaver, I think. We used to get the bus here. It used to be the 619 bus. Um, I think it ran for about three or four months, maybe a bit longer, and then it got took off. Only because the um, reports of us lads and having Mooney and out the back window on the top deck. Um, and the only reason they found out who the, what the culprits were in that was because apparently the ginger hairs. Um, so they, they narrowed it down to one of the lads that was on the bus. I think he had ginger hair, so that, that was the end of that. So, yeah. What 
we'll do here, we'll do a sweep in. Um, this is what's known as a cinder path. It's got like cinder, coke, coal kind of footing underfoot, but it used to have, <coughs> hence the name cinder path. Should run all the way up. So this is the exit of school, the front of school as well. So. This is back at the sports hall, and probably a lot of people remember this annex bit here. Um, wasn't actually built on, so this is where the fights happened. So if you want, if there was a fight going on and you knew about it, tickets got sold, first come, first served. Be on the front ring parade. This was Highfield, hence the name of the road, Highfield School. I feel road, I feel playing ground. Um, take a walk through. This is when the fight got broke up over there by the teachers. It would then continue on the plateau down here. It's a good school though. I think everyone got really, you know, got straightened out by it. You know, a lot of, a lot of lads came through, you know, misdemeanors and troublemakers and stuff. The teachers really did um, straighten them out. I wouldn't change a thing. It's called the Plateau because it drops. It's just a, they didn't give it a name. Plateau in French is flat, is it? Learned that from here. You used to come out here and you, you go down to the Oval. You get the bus from there, that's why it was just the other private bus got put on. Bit of nostalgia. Oh, what fun we had, but we had a good bite